So you want to start using LUTs in DaVinci Resolve, do you? Cool, fair enough, say no more. My name's Alex, this is Mr. Alex Tech, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So let's put it up in DaVinci Resolve and take a look, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. So first up, installing the LUT. There's actually two ways that you can do it, so I'll show you both because they're both quick and easy. The first way is via the project settings. So I'm currently on the edit tab within DaVinci Resolve. All I'm going to do, come to the bottom right hand corner where you can see the little cog icon. We're going to give that a click to open up our project settings. From here, select color management from the left hand menu and then scroll down until you see the lookup tables area. Underneath there, there's two buttons. There's update lists and there's open LUT folder. Open your LUT folder and this folder will appear. Now you can copy the LUTs directly into this folder or alternatively, you can create individual folders as I've done for these LUTs downloaded from Bounce. There is a link down in the description below if you wanna check these out. Once you've copied your LUTs into this folder, you can close this window and then all you need to do is to hit the update lists button. That will scan that folder for any new LUTs and import them directly into DaVinci Resolve. Once that's finished, you can just hit save or close to close your project settings. Now, alternatively, you can do pretty much the same thing from within the color tab. So I'm just gonna shoot into the color tab. Make sure that you've got your LUT open. So by clicking on this icon in the top left-hand corner, you should see this folder here where it says LUT. Simply right-click and you've got open file location. The same window will appear and you can do the exact same thing. Just copy and paste any LUT into this folder and then close it down and then right click again on the word LUTs and then go to refresh to rescan that folder to pick up any new LUTs. Now I'm just gonna shoot back into the edit tab. You can see I've got three clips set up on my timeline. I can individually apply all the LUTs to those three individual clips or alternatively you can use an adjustment clip. So all I'm gonna do is open up the effects library by clicking on the effects library in the top left hand corner. I'll expand the toolbox I'll go to effects and I'm gonna grab an adjustment clip and just drag it onto my timeline above my footage like so. If you don't see adjustment clips, they were introduced in DaVinci Resolve 16, so just make sure you're on the correct version. We can then give the adjustment clip a click and shoot into the color tab. As you can see here, I can see all of my clips. If you don't see this little middle bar, all we need to do is to click on clips over in the top right hand corner so that you can see the clip that you're working on. Now I can click the individual clips to apply LUTs to those, or alternatively, I can use my adjustment clip just by selecting them accordingly. I'm gonna select my adjustment clip. Now I can start to preview my LUTs. So still with the LUTs open over on the left, I can navigate to the folder that I want. So I'm gonna be using these urban dark LUTs here. And the first thing you want to do is to click on this little icon and make sure that live preview is selected. With live preview selected, you can hover your mouse over the individual LUTs and you can preview them so you can see what they're gonna look like. And then once you've selected the LUT, you can start applying them. However, before you apply a LUT, what I recommend that you do is to open up your nodes by clicking on nodes in the top right-hand corner. You can see here we've just got one node currently and there's no color grade. All I'm gonna do is hit the Alt and S key on my keyboards to create another serial node here. What I would tend to do is to leave this node to do any basic color grading, contrast, saturation, that sort of thing. And then I'll just apply my LUT to this second node or however many you want. It's really handy to have one node specifically for LUT and I'll explain why in a moment. So I've got this second node selected. I can select the LUT that I'm happy with. Let's go with this dark bamboo and I can just double click to apply that LUT. Now we know it's applied because our preview window has updated. We can scrub through that and have a look. But also on that node, we now have this little waffle icon, which is telling us that the LUT has been applied. If we want to remove the LUT, we simply right click on the node, come down to where it says LUTs and go to no LUT. And that will remove that LUT from that node. Now let's select another LUT. So I'm just gonna double click to apply this one here. What you can actually do by using an individual node purely for your LUT, you can also then control the intensity of the LUT, which is really handy. So with the node selected, come down to this middle menu here and you're clicking on this icon, this one here, which is the key icon. And then you get these options under here. With the key output, you can see it says gain and then one. One means that the LUT is fully applied. If we just change that to zero 
Now you can't see that node at all, so we can't see the LUT. We can then just reduce the gain until we're happy with how the LUT looks. So we can go with something like that. Now, if you haven't used an adjustment clip, you've used individual clips, but you want to copy the LUT and all the other settings over to those other clips, you can do so really easily. So down here, still within your clips area, I can select the clip that I want to apply the LUT to, and then using the middle mouse button, I need to select the clip that already has it applied. So use my middle mouse button now, and we can see this clip now has all of the same LUT and color grades copied across. If you need to do that to multiple clips, all we need to do is hold the control key, click the ones that we want so they're highlighted in red like so, and then middle mouse on the one that already has the LUT applied, and it will copy everything across. And it's as easy as that. That is LUTs in a nutshell. And that's it. Hope this video was useful. If it was, thumbs up. Any comments or feedback, shove them down below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, you want to see a little bit more, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching, folks. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.